Our PI is called Boo, and nothing is taboo for Boo. Boo is a safe place to ask embarrassing questions about sexual, emotional, and relationship norms. Boo answers questions that you might be embarrassed to ask your parents, friends, or relatives. We believe that sexual education should be available for every teen, regardless of gender. It is important to know about our bodies and the changes that are happening are going to happen. We believe this aligns with the feminist internet directive that FI educates. Boo is designed for teenagers of all identities experiencing puberty. When a lot of changes happen, both physically and emotionally, Boo is here to answer taboo questions and comfort the user by ensuring them that there is no such thing as a weird question. Boo is their sounding board. It listens, it sometimes gives advice, and it makes them feel that everything's okay. Boo is an advocate of inclusive sex education. We believe sex education should not be gendered and introduced at an early age. Our storyboard starts with Silver, a 12-year-old gender-fluid teen who is starting summer camp in the seaside within a few days. Silver has noticed they have started growing hair under their armpits. They ask themselves if this is normal. Everyone else doesn't seem to have hair. People on TV and in magazines have no hair. Why do I have hair? They question. They're confused, so Silver asks a friend if they can relate, but their friend cannot relate to this situation. Silver remembers seeing an app on Snapchat about Boo and decided to give it a try and find out if having hair is normal. Silver takes a while to warm up, but Boo is understanding. Boo explains the facts and reassures Silver they are not a hairy monster. Boo tells Silver that growing hair in new places is part of puberty. After this, Silver feels comforted and calm. Silver feels lit. They can now continue life without worrying about their new body. The information that Boo feeds back is solely factual. It does not give judgments or opinions. Boo fetches data from varied, reliable sources aiming to be objective. If the user asks to empathize with them, Boo will remind the user it's just a bot. Boo's purpose is to feed back information that is most suited for the questions being asked. Boo is a genderless PIA. Its voice and language aims to have a neutral, casual, and friendly tone. Here's an example. I promise you that once you start doing it and really normalize it and internalize it, then it helps so much. This is what a conversation with Boo would sound like. Hi. I'm Boo. Do you need my assistance? So, um, I have a weird question for you. Nothing is too weird for me as I'm a bot. What's on your mind? I'm so fucking confused about how I feel. Please use kinder words. That's no way to start a conversation, Boo. So sorry, I just feel out of place. Let's start over again. Nothing is too weird for me as I'm a bot. What's on your mind? Um, lately I've had hair growing in new places. Can you tell me more? Yeah, sure. Um, kinda on my legs and on my ar armpits, maybe? That's cool. How does it make you feel? Yeah, I don't know. My friend told me she doesn't get hair there and that it's genetic. What do you mean? I don't know. Is growing hair under your arms normal? Yes, it's normal. Underarm hair starts to appear at the beginning of puberty with growth often completed by the end of the teenage years. My friend says she doesn't have hair under her armpits. No matter where you live, whether you are a boy or a girl, whether you like vanilla or double fudge chunk ice cream, you will experience the changes of puberty. During puberty, your body will grow faster than any other time in your life. Thank you. I feel lit and no longer like a furry monster. You do. Boo. No.